Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice 9.11. And of course, we're playing as Japan. And I've got a bit of announcement, as you probably see from the description um, of this video. We are, of course, going to play a regular episode. But this is also an announcement of the first contest to give away three games from Slytherin. Um, slash Matrix, um, their sort of joint company or whatever. Um, they've been really nice to me and are being really nice to you and they've given me some Steam codes to give away um, some copies of their games. Um, there are, there's like a, there's going to be more than, than three uh, eventually, but this, for this particular contest, there will be three winners. Um, you only have one you, you you only be able to win one copy of whatever uh and you'll have um so long as i have a few codes of of a few games you, i'll give you a choice so long as there's a choice you know because obviously they'll eventually be the last one but um so what sh and okay the purpose for me on this is to get you to watch videos and help promote the channel so three winners watch this video somewhere within this video I will go over the contest rules of course as they say only valid where 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 legal or whatever but hey I'm giving away steam codes I don't know that any law or any whatnot is going to um, uh, make that illegal but if it is somehow where it will be and so um, later in later in this video we will cover what you need to do to be an entrant to enter the contest and no it won't be that hard and it will um, be pretty simple okay I wanted to show off this I looked at this as we were so I just started doing opening moves before starting this we looks like we have a Canadian anti-submarine patrol because we have been sinking stuff in this area so let's see how this battle goes with our here oh, we want to speed this up a little bit Okay, well, that happened fast. Okay, good, still. See if they come back for another strike. Still watching, see if they can make it for another strike. I guess not. Our long-range submarines are heading out into that area. Okay, um, Army Group HQ has advanced. Let's see how that's doing. And that has pushed it now too far, so we will stop that. But that has most assuredly helped us a lot. Ah. Uh, yeah, these... Um, not that they're not useful. They are, and I probably should be doing more. Um, nothing else. Those some of those fight, somewhat fighting HQs are could be used for garrison troops. I'm having a big need of that, so I want to free up like all these guys. Okay, we got the uh, military police has showed up there now, so we do have we're shifting some more over there. Um, because I do want to send some a little bit more internal. We can look at Revolt Risk, which is actually doing pretty well overall. We could send the military police up here to help there. We need some out here to help in the rear areas there. We now have supply running straight into Calcutta. So even if this and these guys are sort of at least temporarily turning into a garrison force until I can something there to garrison it um, so I don't really care if that gets cut off now because I can obviously supply them and we've taken out another flotilla here okay um, get on board uh, this is another battle going on out here Okay, let's see. 
we've had an attack there. I just sent, I think I'm gonna, where are they now? Here, these guys, I was just sending them the other direction, because I hadn't, we hadn't been attacked. Okay, um, yeah, you can come up to here. We'll see about getting you operating in there. Because that, uh, these, um, CVEs are like super sub-hunters, um, sub-attack 100... <laughs> 46 um, so yeah uh, and I think they have good um, cag size is zero just so you don't get confused looks like a looks like something that could carry cags but um, not sub detection 7.75 7 and here again 15 so these are better sub detectors but um, sub attack oh, 138 so that's actually pretty good so yeah, they're, these CVEs are pretty good at that. So as um, so long as this isn't some um, battleship or something doing the, the raiding up there, I think we'll do okay. And back to here. Um, well... You know, not that we need a bombardment fleet. Oh, is it here? Oh, these guys, they need to get moved off. Um, okay, you guys can come to here. And you guys get to invade. Just taking away bases. Just, um, yeah, let's, these temporary Naru. Okay, uh -huh. Create a convoy. A oh, bunch more just got done, but still. Tokyo to... I'm not even sure if I'm going to garrison it once I get some garrison troops, though that may be a, a garrison case. We're bombing these guys here to hopefully get them in here to cut them off. We had one unit that was attacking that shattered. Um, okay, they're coming across there. This isn't going to be anything of a big pocket, but still. Pocket's a pocket. Okay, let's kill this since the pocket's a pocket. Let's kill that. You can attack there. Counterattack. Um. Give me a, yeah, coal. Not that we don't want coal, we do. Um, or other coal and industry. Um, I think heading this way is still maybe the best option. What's the terrain like that we just, okay, open planes. Those guys are just doing something like that. These guys are moving up there. Good. Um, now that that's dead, we'll, we'll leave it to be cleaned up later. Oh, good. A CL and a coastal battleship both look to be Dutch. Left over. Okay, so these guys are dealing with them here. Okay, oh. Um. No. Oh, who come here? Rebase. Into there. Okay, um. I think those may have been displaced from there. That's why these guys spotted them. Uh, 
I will fully grant, and as I think Nick may have did say, and he was one of, I think, the main one, thought that my invasion should be either here or here or both of these things instead of down here, that this may have been a better, um, faster, and as he did concede that this very well may work too, but I like this expanding into and um, taking all of that open terrain, that open um, territory. Without, okay, you look like you're going to cross that river just fine, so you guys push up that way. How are we doing? We're still fighting there. They're defending there relatively well. Um, yeah, I don't see a good reason. Well, they could counterattack me. Yeah. Um, do we? Okay, you guys move into the plains. You're better plains fighters. The units like these are good, but um, this with its regular artillery and armored cars and whatnot. Are gonna do so much better than the in the open plains than these guys with their pack artillery and what and you know specialized light infantry. But their specialized light infantry and pack artillery will be less affected, at least by movement rates, but probably also other um, uh, you know terrain maladies that are out there. So if you have you know. It's always better to send the mountain troops to the mountains if you have them in the area, but if you don't, well, use what you got. I know I'm not the best forward planner, and in real life, of course, they have a whole staff of people that figure out things like, yes, we have, oh, that's what, they came down here because they didn't know where I was going to send them. Um... We're doing pretty well for revolt risk. Um, oh, well, got some enemies moving around in here. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. okay, out here. Very good. Messed up my pocket battleship. Oh, I forget who one person was po point. Um, you know, build some pocket battleships like I like to do too. And as I think again, it was Nick who pointed out that these guys are really fast and it affects their speed into engagement, you know, within the, the actual battle mechanic. So they end up taking a lot of damage and they don't have, you know, a lot of um, strength uh, compared to real battleships, so, um, but I still like them, um, I wish, I don't, you know, obviously if you ha in real life, of course, is different than this, because in real life you can slow down and match the speeds of heavy cruisers or other vessels and not get into operations unsupported, but we had a, looks like to be a massive victory here, um, coming up there that as we come into there so that is good without any actual losses of kegs or units though that could change in a second battle because we lose a pocket battleship so I wouldn't not build the pocket battleships um, might have built a little less but I still think they're they're doing good because I still bet you that well they can well uh, what they may have actually well didn't actually sink anything but I would be surprised if it didn't do some of the damage but maybe I don't understand I, I I don't understand these mechanics very well I think these are all from this latest battle is that the Yeah, okay, that's the other one. Okay, so yeah. So we're doing pretty well. We don't have fuel, unfortunately, until we can take a port to run our own supplies here, and then we'll move faster. And let's take a look at Europe while we're doing this. Okay. Well, Italy was desperately sort of fighting back into the here. Now they've pushed with the help of the Africa Corps. I mean, it all looks like if you look at the the symbols, the DAC, the 
red triangle thingy. That's, I forget which one of the divisions, but I know it's one of them. The yellow D is another Africa Corps division that we're seeing there. So, and not that, but, um, well, some SS Garen tro troops that have been loaned to them, but that's not part of any event. The SS was never in North Africa, if you didn't know that. Um, you know, I'm not saying that there was, well, I, I don't know, I don't know of a single case of like an SS intelligence guy or anything like that, but I know that there were no ground units, no operational units. Um, the SS did have sort of tropical uniforms, but those were for when they were operating either in Greece or Italy in, you know, summer type conditions, but they were never in North Africa. Oh, there's Remke. He was down in North Africa a while ago. Don't know if he got shattered and went back up to here, or they somehow moved him here. And But notice this. This is um, an element of the reaction to the Soviet invasion down here. So this is showing up as an Italian unit that's a German, loan to Germany. But of course it's a German unit. And so this unit was created by an event, and when it's the AI, they automatically give the units to Italy, so it has the Italian flag. But then Italy has well that back to Germany. Just sort of interesting there. Dynamic going. How are we doing in Russia? Okay, so they totally cut off the Kola Peninsula up here, and it's only a matter of time. It looks like much of the forces have either left or been turned over to German use. Like here, because we're seeing only I'm only at least seeing in the stack. Well, no, I probably just probably so many German stuff here. They've moved up here and aren't moving anymore because there's Hungarian stuff, Italian, Hungarian, Romanian. Oh, there's Romanian. I said Hungarian. I know. Okay, so they just have to finish mopping up here and then these divisions can get back to fighting Soviets still having a tough time down here Maybe some of these units are badly shot up others aren't so yeah well that's doing reasonably well now the Vichy French are fighting down here I don't know whether the Germans just go oh well that's Vichy French losing territories no 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 problem for us or whatnot they've of course well that's you know a, a former Vichy unit it's down to German control um, and that's a nice motorized infantry division there um, that's doing garrison duty which actually isn't too bad of an idea if you're looking at garrison duty versus um, uh, an American invasion of a significant size but yeah okay ooh and okay here this this is telling some of the tale here another DAC unit um, all including um, some element of the Hermann Goering type event chain down there you see one unit with that I'm just below the you know, garrison G gar two G garrison units there that are sitting there and what is their current status war with is an Axis member okay so they're in the war so I don't know why the Italians aren't moving out of Italian territory because we see them you know you know Italian units are fighting on the the Russian front so I don't know why they're not moving to secure Tunisia we do have an Italian unit there um, you can see the green in the stack though I think it's maybe an HQ unit um, yeah well it'd be better to fight them now than to you know wait but these Vichy light infantry are going somewhere okay well whatever and these are retreating Omanian forces which we're going to see about making them react by taking that 
Okay, they have decided military bases. Okay. And this is an event that does, or some of them do. Maybe not that one. We've seen, um, I saw earlier, got some U.S. sort of loan territory. Obviously, this just really represents small bases turned over to the U.S. just for the war effort and basically to, you know, do anti-submarine and anti, you know, commerce rating type stuff here. And I don't know if we, they had already had this or not, but this really supposed to, well, I don't know how it, it does help because we do see the huge stacks of Air Force units come here. Um, we'll see how effective they are in doing strategic bombing and whatnot of Germany. Otherwise, it's sort of been demonstrated and shown that um, the U.S. won't use its strategic bombers to go after Germany. At least not from Britain. They might if from here. That's if they can get that. Okay, um, well, yeah, we'll give you fuel. We'll help you out, Soviets. No problem. And I'm sure it's helping the Soviets, but... Oh, oh good, we've advanced to here, so... Um, you guys come up to there, and you come up to there. Um, you join that fight, and you join that fight. You guys come... to there. Okay, can you guys get down to here? Yes, good. I guess we're controlling enough of the sea areas to move across the sort of bridging zones here. Okay. Okay, now. Yamato. Coastal bombardment, partially. Um. searching um I think you're gonna just come and park there as well see like we see here we have three submarines so there is a carrier with a, an air group here um, and this is a danger and we do need to get and we need to take out that air base and we need to take that out um, so the, those are useful, necessary type operations. But I'm also sort of of the mind that I like that we're still able to, you know, would be able to use our submarines to take out convoys. Convoys are killing our rather effective use of things. Okay, we have a couple of more DEs. Okay, they could use another DE there. So, um, okay, now they're being escorted by destroyer escorts, and um, okay, so we'll move these over and those two over to there okay so now these are being and which means we have more DEs to or D's DD's uh, I get, we gotta get that right okay are you operating uh, yes good um are you operating down here don't know let's sort of focus a little more in that area um Well, I thought I had another fleet around here. Well, we have these guys here. Okay. Um, well, uh, we are... Okay, we are deploying into here. So move to here. And let's move two destroyers. Okay, let's just... Do this this will be easier two destroyers over here to add to that unit to better balance it out I'm not sure that that's the most in need but it is an in need 
force we have here. Okay, these guys are doing pretty well. They've got just mainly the Yamato and the heavy cruiser there is um, the other group here. Okay, they've got, well, a fair number of destroyers, so they're not in the worst shape. Um, okay, here. Send us off to. Okay, I think this is a good point to um, give the contest rules. I'm trying to make you watch the videos, get video watch time up. Okay, to be entered into this contest, you need to like the video here and you most of many of you already do that but hit the like button and make up and post a comment you could just say yeah I'd like a game or just hi whatever just so long as you you have a um, uh, a comment here and then um, also in the next two slytherin and videos and I'll, I'll announce it at the beginning of the video um, which ones, um, but it'll be happening in the next few days. The next two Slytherin videos, um, I say that, and those are games like, um, Strategic Command, Field of Glory, uh, Aggressors, Ancient Rome, um, Order of Battle, uh, Panzer Corps, some, the next two videos in some of those things. Also, hit the thumbs up and post just, a simple comment uh, so that I know you at least clicked on and watched the uh, first few minutes of the video and so if you've liked and commented on the three videos I will be putting um, one in you know one one entry from each of you names in a hat um, you know slips of paper and draw out three of them and then we will um, see who wins um, and I will do my best to try to get you uh, from the um, small catalog of stuff, which, um, includes, uh, uh, got at least one copy, I think, of Strategic Command Classic to give away, um, some Order of Battle, um, and a few other, um, Slytherin games. Um, try to get you something that if you that you don't already have preferably and something that sounds like you would like uh, just a few copies um, of each of the games so um, we'll be seeing that eventually obviously um, and there'll be future contests and you only get one entry for this block of contests when the next block uh, when the next block or next contest group thing and you'll have oh um also let's see what is it it's the um 18th um you'll have 10 days um to respond um for this so you don't have don't have to be here on the first day um that's a and maybe i should have said that early on but so you'll have 10 days to watch this video so if you're watching this video in the first 10 days and then um, you'll easily be able to figure out, um, you know, two other Slytherin videos slightly after the 18th. Um, Slytherin slash Matrix, whatever, you know, those um, videos that I've been making. Um, like those, you'll have have 10 days to do it. And after the 10 days are up, I will. that's when I will um, sort of close this, this batch. And so... Um, and when I do another one of these, you, you'll be able to um, enter again. So, um, and there's a bunch. So, th and since I have a relatively small viewing audience, you'll have a high likelihood of winning something. I would say. Um, I'm probably I'm not absolutely sure. I don't know. Um, and I haven't. So, future contests haven't made it. 
Um, if you win this one, and I'm talking in the next like six weeks or, or so, because there's going to be several of these. Um, don't know if you get to win more than one. You know, if you enter more than one contest, but you can definitely enter again if you haven't won. That that will be an absolute um, thing. So it's not, you know. So if you don't win this time, definitely look for um, thing. I just sort of want to spread it around and don't even for, you know, somebody's particularly lucky. Don't want to give away three games to one person and, you know, not to anybody else if if you know what I mean. And so three lucky winners this this time. Um, after that, we will do another contest. Okay, let's see. So we're at 1766. So let's add one more of these, because these do help. And we'll do this. Now, I don't, um... um yeah, um, here, you can go into here, and I don't do this, but you can do this, that if you're having a um, particularly heavy hit convoy, so just come over here, click on the Admiralty Island, if that's, you know, this is being hit, and you can up the number of escorts manually of these guys to this convoy. I'm just letting the AI do it, how it feels it, but um, so um, you can of course obviously cancel this convoy too, but you can up the number of escorts, which as we see periodically, um, you know, spotted convoy didn't do anything about it um, because it's not strong enough because it's heavily escorted, and that's what you're seeing. Um, I don't know how theoretically large a group you could fight off if you super maxed one of those things out. Um, we did see a unit there and you don't have any escort. Um, now come over here. Um, no, um, rebase. Bit risky. Okay, you're here, and you guys are coming up here, so you support that attack there. And now that you guys can come up to there, that's good. So, yeah, so I don't know if it would be able to fight off. Um, you know, if you, you do 20 or 30 of those escorts, if it would fight off a battleship um, doing commerce raiding or some such thing. But it might. I'm far from... Okay, you're still supporting the attack. Okay, good. Okay, so we've moved into this province. You're in good shape. You guys are moving up. Um, so we'll add you to that once you get there, because you're going to get there soon you're getting there on the 29th okay just later today so you guys add to that attack keep make sure you're advancing forward we don't want you stalled out okay you guys can move there okay um terrain 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 okay all jungle but this would be our most likely to you know we're going to use the tank, the infantry tank attack group. Um, trying to cut off again more units there. If you guys are coming down there, you're holding there. That's all good. So with that, we'll be able to push forward and maybe cut off both from, well, at least from coming here, probably maybe into there to get cut off supplies as well. So we're creating pocket and pocket, and yeah, we're going to, I don't know if we're going to be able to take these guys, because if you've watched my German series and the hard battles with huge mountain numbers of mountain troops and other fighting vehicles, they have um, super high territorial pride, um, which, you know, when in defending the territory, plus that they're in the mountains and they have mountain type troops and other bonuses, that they're, they're super difficult to 
to um, fight out. Um, now, if we can, we will. If not, um, I'll just get some sort of garrisoning troops. Here might be a little easier because it's the plains. Uh, there are plains along here, but really both of these areas are, are highly mountainous. So I have hopes of taking the plains and who knows about the capital there, but so we'll at least, you know, contain whatever Nepalese and Bhutanese um, troops up in their territory, at least to do that. How are our long range guys doing out here? Okay, have they? Well, maybe they got somebody there. And maybe some other stuff on the way, but good. I'm a little more worried about anti submarine warfare off the American coast. But. Okay, see, like, yeah, you guys will go back out once they're getting a little bit better organized up. Okay, um. And we're going to do naval striking just that province. Um, yeah. So we're still taking some. The Americans did have fairly effective. Yeah, well, I want you to do a large area. But to sort of make sure you're covering sort of the approaches to there as well. Okay, carrier damage control, very good. Something the Japanese did not do well on. I know I've said that before. Okay, did something actually get built? Um, um, yeah. Transports, not the heavies, but transports. Okay, so we have an escort and three convoys here, an escort up there. Or a group of ten escorts in each one. Convies, convoys. So that is good. Um, we're going to... And of course, some of this can be... Um, if we're starting to... Um, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Um, we are here? Well, you're not, um, trading through here? Okay, we're canceling this trade with the Soviets now. Um, how the hell are we even trading through to, through to here because Germany has that? Okay, um, uh... Well, let's see if we just cancel the convoy here. The Leningrad. Okay, we can't cancel the convoy. Um, oh, we're not doing manual trade, are we? No, um, no, we are doing, um, oh, trade, um, convoy transport, maintain convoy transport to escorts. No, um, 
Okay, so... Um... Bring in steel. Metal from the Soviet Union, metal from the Soviet Union. Oh, which is nice. Oh, how the hell is that still happening? I don't know how the hell that's still happening. Well, it's... Am I losing anything? I mean, I'm using up... I'm using convoys there, but... It, it's not being intercepted, so I'm gonna let it continue. I don't know why or how that's happening. Through there, it was... I was thinking it was gonna go the shortest route. You know, and be somewhere out here. Okay, well... That's weird. Okay, um, yes. Oh, you guys don't have any... Oh, because Germany isn't getting any supplies through here. Probably let's look at a supply mode. Okay, so that's why you're not operating because you don't have any supplies and Germany is um, presumably out of convoys. I'm just going to guess that because um, they're getting supplies up here now, but they're not there. Okay, and they could obviously move supplies up here and come around here or that way, but it's not happening so let's um let's come down to here let's move rebase down to here and then get reorganized up and then they can um try to raid convoys that are coming into um uh, norway which is maybe what some of these guys are already doing somewhat effectively See, they're also getting American convoys over here, presumably. We are helping, I do believe, with our few guys here getting some... We may be the only ones, actually, um, taking out convoys going through here. Okay, so we're, we're helping in Europe. We're, we're helping. We got some, and there were some... Not in the Mediterranean, but there were some Japanese submarines getting to Germany and but there were a bunch more um, German submarines getting to Japanese waters not always necessarily to Japan though a few did make it there a bunch like came down here and when Germany surrenders um, the we're gonna build some more submarines since that's what we're talking about the um okay those 210 292 okay 210 versus 296 okay um they were turned over to um hmm. well i think these guys are good enough they're fairly cheap too Take many days, but fairly cheap. Do six of them. Um, you know, uh, turned over. You know, anything that was in the port or around the ports were turned over to the Japanese. And the Japanese, I think, used them a little bit. I don't want to overstate how much they used. Um, I guess submarines are. Well, I know they're complicated things, and. Um, okay, guys, you guys can move to here. And that they, um, Germany had trouble with some of their captured um, submarines. They captured some Dutch ones. I don't know that they were ever able to really get them into proper operation. I think they got one or two, maybe used them as training boats, you know, sort of in the Baltic. Um, like a few French ones, but I don't know that they ever got them into really proper operations. Um, just from what I remember reading, um, it just the, the effort that they put into some uh, getting some of the captured submarines operating probably would have been better to um, 
Okay, we'll deal with this. Would have been better to um, just scrap them and build new ones, maybe. Um, okay, so global game balance. This again is an attempt to deal purely, in my in my understanding, an attempt to deal with the out of balance um, things that Black Ice have gotten themselves into over the time. Um, just adding more and more. So um, because of just explaining this, and many of you already know. Um, because of all these things that, oh, we now have super organization and we can now attack and attack and attack and attack until the unit shatters and we still have organization left, meaning that really should never happen. Um, and even now defending is a different matter. I can see that on some units, but attacking should never happen, um, but does happen because um, you should run out of organization before everyone dies because uh, outside of some, you know, kamikaze stuff. It, and you know des but see most of the stuff is desperation that happens at the end they may do like a final charge but it's really defending somewhere um so this is sort of uh, to address it so we're getting penalties on hard attack and soft attack but that's with everybody um so just just keep that in mind and know what that is when you when you come across it okay i was waiting for some DDs to show up, but they haven't yet. Um, okay, they're moving. I got one stack of two, but where are they? Don't tell me they got destroyed along the way, which is quite possible. Moving without the fleet? But I think I would have noticed it. No. Grab too big of an area. Did I send them somewhere wrong? Um, hmm, why am I not seeing them? Oh, here they are. I sent them to here, did I? Okay, I'll come to here now. Because you're going to go and add to this group. They're in desperate need of some light forces. seeing anybody in that port but I don't know okay our forces under attack here fine yeah um, mobile unit combined arms has advanced very good let's take a look at that mobile unit combined arms okay um, I'm gonna let that one go and they've lost the HMS resolution good Propose to the USSR a spy exchange. We should propose to the USSR an exchange of Richard Sor Sorge for some of our captured spies. He is too important for them to refuse such a proposal. Ask them a second time. Okay, yeah, form the 19th Army Corps. That would be good. Created December 42. Good. Um, build a new industrial zone. Great. Autarky for our economy. No, thank you. Veteran unit opportunity. Um, 500? Yeah, we'll go with that. That's useful. Okay, um... We've lost it like I was sort of anticipating. We got cut off, but that's fine. We're being supplied. Not maybe the best force to hold off on, you know, um... see here this this is the problem here that um, um, shouldn't really be happening that way okay are these mountains yes good so we're using our mountain troops in the mountains yay I guess say that's sort of the ideal situation doesn't always happen okay you're defending okay this unit and now this unit come into here and you guys can, yeah, you would do well to keep advancing. Okay, um, we're going to, now that we have more units in that attack, we're going to stop from attacking because we don't really want to shatter you. Uh, 
Okay, now also, what we should do, which I don't do as well as I should, is use air power. And there are settings to like just let it randomly sort of ground attack in the area and it will just randomly ground attack and hopefully do some proper damage, but I only don't do that either. Okay, so that way we'll shatter these units even though we're attacking at something of a disadvantage. Both of those command quarters will hold out well enough. No, oh, how are we doing over here? Um, hmm. No orders going back? What's going on? Are we in possession of now? You guys couldn't go short because you didn't have any fuel? Wow, I don't know something's going on there. Okay, well, that may not work out. The Imperial Japanese Army was interested in using um, Taiwan Sea um, Aborigines in Special Forces operations as they were viewed as being more physically capable of operating in tropical and subtropical regions in Southeast Asia than ethnic Japanese and coming from hunter-gatherer culture would be able to operate with minimal logistic support. The Japanese military recruited many young men from friendly tribes to do service shortly before the start of World War II. The total number was confidential estimates on the numbers recruited between 1,800 and 5,000 men. Training was under the direction of officers of the Nakano School, which specialized in insurgency and guerrilla warfare, initially assigned to transport and supply units as the war conditions progressively deteriorated for Imperial Japanese forces. The Taka Sago volunteers were sent, excuse me, to frontline combat units, units consisting entirely of um, Taka Sago volunteers served. With distinction in the Philippines, Netherlands, East Indies, Solomon Islands, and New Guinea, where they fought against the Americans and Australians um, forces even before the Taiwan Sea volunteers were recruited into service. Put them to use, yes. Okay. No, I hadn't heard about that. And so, yeah, I do know, I don't know a lot about that there were a, don't know how aboriginal it was, um, Oh, we've had a few viewers that are from Taiwan, but I do know that there were a peoples in Taiwan um, going back considerably far. Um, I know huge numbers of Chinese fled um, mainland China into Taiwan as the communists were taking over. Um, I don't know how many Chinese, you know, ethnic slash genetic Chinese were there um, prior to the Japanese taking over of uh, Taiwan. Um, I just don't know. Um, but, and I really don't know much about all of that. And so, yeah, so I don't know much about all of that. I do know that something like that exists. Oh, that's probably in our production queue. Ah, here we go. Okay, so we have, and we'll, um, we'll move these to the top. So we have some uh, special forces units to attach to some other, um, here we should get it better. Yeah, just, just um, these guys, which they're different than um, the specialized light infantry of a larger. They're more of a commando like force that we can't build. We have a few of them attached in a few places, but they are a useful type of of unit when attached. Okay, you're yeah. Attack here. You support the attack. Oh 
Okay, and we've killed this pocket, so now you guys come up to here. Um, looks like they are already winning, so you guys come to here. You guys can move to there. Okay, um... And it looks like we had a crash, so I'm gonna have to go back to the... Oh, maybe not. Still hearing the music. Oh, no, we, we're back. Okay, good. It was just the music. Was No, no crash. Great. Um, great. No crash. Um... Good luck to for entering the contest. If you didn't watch all the way through or skipping around, go back and in the in the video there are the how to enter to win um, one of three games, and I have several games, um, different different games um, from Slytherin. Again, thanks to Slytherin for being so nice. Um, so check find the contest rules. Um, good luck. And of course, um, thanks for liking the video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And uh, of course, I love hearing from you. So post um, comments, questions, suggestions. And um, see you next time for more Hearts of Iron.